Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala Continuing with our study of hadhi da'watana wa aqeedatana by Imam al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamuhu. The Shaykh said, وَنَحْنُ نَعْلَمْ أَنَّ هُنَاكَ مَنْ يَدَعِي السَّلَفِيَةً وَسَلَفِيَةً بَرِيَةٌ مِنْهُمْ إِذْ قَدْ أَسْبَحَ يُجَارِيَ الْمُجْتَمَى فِي تَحْلِيلْ مَا هَرَمَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى So the Shaykh said, and we believe or we know that there are those who claim Salafiyyah and Salafiyyah is free from them. And they uh, travel throughout the society or they uh, do their works throughout the society. And with regard to that, they make what is, uh, they make what is unlawful, what Allah has made unlawful, the Almighty, they make it lawful. And then the Sharah of the book, he said, كَأَنَّ الشَّيْخِ رَحِمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى يُشِيرُ بِذَلَكِ إِلَى عَبْدُ الرَّحْمَنِ عَبْدُ الْخَالِقِ كَمَا قَالَ رَحِمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فَسَلَفِيَ لَيْسَ فِيهَا دِمَقْرَاطِيَ فَعَارْ عَلَيْكُمْ يَا أَهْلَ كُوَيْتِ أَنْ تَقُولُوا نَحْنُ سَلَفِيُونَ وَأَنْتُمْ تُشَارِكُونَ فِي دِمَقْرَاطِيَ فَسَلَفِيَ لَيْسَ فِيهَا تَعْدِيدِيَ وَلَيْسَ فِيهَا حِزْبِيَ The one who explained this treatise by the Shaykh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him, Abi Abdillah al-Musni'i, he brought about with regard to that statement of the Shaykh that we just mentioned, <clears throat> he brought some kalam, other speech from uh, Shaykh Mukbil, or Allah Yahamu, and he said, It is if the Shaykh, may Allah have mercy upon him, may Allah the Almighty have mercy upon him, is pointing or speak, speaking specifically about Abdurrahman Abdul Khalik, uh, just it, because. It is evidence, as he may Allah have mercy upon him, in a, one of his other statements in one of his books, where he said Salafia is not uh, does not contain demokratia. You know, a democracy is not uh, contained in Salafia. And he said, "Oh, the people of Kuwait, Ahlul Kuwait, uh, you say that you are Salafis." But then you share in democracy. And then he continued on and he said, Salafia, there isn't in it uh, partisanship, meaning Hezbiya, or uh, to break into uh, parties and groups and so forth. <coughs> So the Shaykh here is letting us know that there are those who claim Salafia, but that their actions, their minhaj in reality, uh, is in contradiction to Salafia, and Salafia is free from them. And this goes back to the Qaeda we mentioned in the last uh, sitting, and we've mentioned it countless times. Al Ibra bi Haqaiq laysa bi Musambiyat, that the proof of something is in its substance. Uh, in its reality or in its substance, not in its name. So regardless of whether someone claims to be on the haq, claims to be from Ahl sunnah the proof is, what is their methodology? How do they, what is their methodology for da'wah? What is their uh, creed? Do they have the creed of Ahl Athar? Do they have the creed of Ahl sunnati wal Jama'ah? Or do they have the creed of the Asha'ira, of the Ashris? Or do they have the creed of the Naqshbandis? Or do they have the creed of the Diobandis? Or do they have the creed of the Brailawi? Or do they have the creed of some other extreme Sufi sect like the Tijaniya or Jamaat al Ahbash or some other sect? So the proof is, in reality, is in what they practice and what they espouse, not just in claims. Then the Shaykh he mentioned. Not tucking in a siyasa, in a siyasa, Jews min a deen. 
والذين يحاولون فصل الدين عن السياسة عن السياسية إنما يحاولون هدم الدين وانتشار الفوضى. So then the Sheikh said, and we believe that politics is a part of the religion, and those who strive to separate politics from the religion, then verily they are the ones who are attempting to destroy the religion and to spread chaos. And then the Sheikh mentions various types of siyasa or politics. He said, <coughs> he mentions that siyasa or politics uh, in the Arabic language refers to husna tadbir, women who tadbir al-muluk li riayaha. And so he says uh, that politics in the Arabic language it refers to uh, being uh, just or uh, good with regards to uh, planning the affairs uh, of the people being ruled for the ruler planning the affairs of those who are being ruled so ruling with justice and ruling with 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 good uh, accurate policy and so forth and he referred to king tadbir tadbir uh, al muluk and he's talking and he's referred to specifically the uh, kings and then he said and as for siyasa uh, to sharia so that is in the arabic language but as for um, uh, the Sharia politics, فِيهِيَ حُسْنَ تَدْبِيرُ الْمُجْتَمَعَ عَلَى ذُو الْكِتَابِ And so then he said, and as for Islam, uh, Sharia politics, then it is, in relation to the definition we already referred to, the general definition, it is being uh, just or right in uh, administering the affairs of a society in the light of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. And so, that gives us an, an idea of siyasa and what the Shaykh is referring to here. And then he also, in another uh, portion of the treatise, the Sharih, he said, وَسِيَاسَةَ تَنْقَسَمْ إِلَى ثَلَاثَةُ أَقْسَامِ He said that uh, politics is divided into three types. He said, firstly, siyasa to sharia. Uh, and this is the Islamic or the sharia politics, which we just already referred to. And then he said, the second is siyasa to mubaha. Wahiya siyasa to muluk, wuruasa shu'ubihim, ay husnu ri'aya. Bimala yan yatanafa. So he referred to the second type is politics that are, they are not Sharia politics in the sense of, basically they are ad, ad, administrations, and this could be of kings or presidents of ruling their subjects with justice and good leadership with regards to those things which do not negate the Sharia, that do not go against the Sharia. So this shows us, uh, he referenced it as Siyasa al-Mubaha, uh, as polit the permissible politics or politics that they don't take a, he's referring to here, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, of what is uh, permissible, but not that it's it's pure Sharia politics. This is, uh, another division he referred to. And then he said the third division is siyasa to sh uh, shaitaniya. And the third type is the political uh, basically demonic politics and referring to politics that are governed by lies and deception. And he said and that is the type of politics which you find uh, mostly in this time. And th 
then the Sheikh mentioned وَكَذَا مَا شَاعَ مَا شَاعَ فِي بَعْدُ بِلَادُ الْإِسْلَامِيَةِ الدين الدين لله ووطن للجميع دعوة الجاهلية بل الكل لله so the Sheikh also said and likewise that which has uh, become widespread amongst Muslim societies in which they claim that the religion is for Allah but the country is for everyone. The Sheikh said this, this is the Dawah to Jahiliyyah. This is the, uh, the, the call of the day of ignorance because he said instead everything is for Allah. So the society and the uh, the religion. So meaning everything should be under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rule and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law. And then the Shaykh said, Na'takidu an Allah Izza wa la nasra lil Muslimin hatta yarju uh yur uh yurja'u ila kitabi la wa sunati rasulilahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he said <coughs> And we believe that there is no izzah, there's no honor. And there will be no assistance for the Muslims until they return to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And there's so much evidence uh, to support this from the Quran and the sunnah. <coughs> and that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in tansur Allah yansurukum. That if you uh, assist Allah, then Allah will assist you. So if we want the help from, for, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of our affairs, like we have issues in rulership now, and we have issues in uh, groups that, that uh, you know, are causing fulda and, and, and chaos throughout the world and destruction in the name of Islam and, and terror and a lone, lone uh, terrorist and all these things who claim to uphold the flag of Islam but however these people mostly whether they know it or not hold up the flag of the shaitan and advance the cause of the shaitan and his troops and so this is imperative that we that in order to have islah and rectification in the Muslim societies and throughout the world in fact is by returning to the Book of Allah, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that will give us our honor and that will give us uh, status and honor and a place in this world instead of a place where we are fed upon by many of our enemies and those people who despise Islam and Muslims and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect the Muslims everywhere from the evil of the Dawah of the Rafa, the Shia, and from their troops and from their devils like Hezbollah, as they call themselves, and the other groups and sects who harm and attack the honor of the Muslims. And may Allah protect us and protect the Muslims everywhere from the devils amongst ISIS and other extremist groups who go beyond the bounds. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all and bless us with the ikhlas, with the bat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.